Samirin's first match since becoming League Cup champions by beating Hearts. Defeated Celtic in the semi-final at Hamden. Here's Kyal. Now Gary Hooper. And chipped towards the back post. And that was very close indeed from Gary Hooper. Craig Sampson seemed confident that it was always going over. He took his hand away. It may have been a little closer than he thought. Commons takes aim. Wanyama from off the shoulder of the Kenyan. Kyle back in with interest. Clear to Ambrose, who thought about the volley. And clipped towards the back post. Commons attacks it. And six minutes in, Celtic have the lead. It's Chris Commons. Number 15 for the season. And I can't imagine too many of those have been headers. Great composure there from F.A. Ambrose, the Nigerian defender. Perfectly onto the head of Chris Commons, who rose well, attacked the ball and found the corner of the net. Gary Teal's corner. McCosland. Well, that's why you have a man on the post. And that man was Biram Kyle. McCausland met it well. The direction was good on the header too. But Biram Kyle manning the post. Peter Lowell looking on. Along with Charles Green, the Rangers owner. Rangers crowned third division champions yesterday. Teal, McGowan, back to Teal. Oh, and in goes Dummett on Forster. The goal will not stand. The man on loan from Newcastle United, a judge to have impeded the Celtic goalkeeper. Now, how much contact was there from Izagiri to push Dummett into Forster? There's an argument that that should have counted. This will be the last action of the first half then. Oh, and did that come off an arm? Some from Samaras. Well, Bobby Madden turns down the appeals from St Mirren. It certainly appeared to come off the arm of Georgia Samaras as Ambrose ducked out of the header. That has hit Samaras on the arm. Danny Lennon angered that that was not given as a penalty kick. Kyle gives chase. Dummett has done well to retrieve the situation. A rather barged Kyle into the advertising boards. Shoulder to shoulder, though. That was one Yama late on McGowan, and it's a red card that's come out. Bobby Madden has sent off Victor Wanyama here the Kenyans third red card in Celtic colours the second of the season the Celtic players surrounding Bobby Madden well there doesn't seem to be too much in that yes it is late but that is a yellow at most surely Celtic bemused by the decision short comes McGowan Dummett a good ball in and well defended by Izagiri. Stokes now. Down he goes. No foul. Izagiri comes in. One back. Gonsalves. Oh, he's down and it's a penalty kick. Bobby Madden points to the spot. Izagiri was claiming that there was simulation from the Portuguese Gonsalves. This will tell you. Well, for starters, if there was contact, it's outside the box. Well, that certainly looks like there was no contact whatsoever. Bobby Madden has been conned there. And it will be Paul McGowan who scored a penalty in the semi-final at Hamden against his former club. McGowan straight down the middle. And St Mirren are level with nine minutes left to play. They hadn't scored in their last nine league outings against Celtic. But in controversial circumstances, St Mirren have picked up a point.